In Lesson 11.3, you will use normal distributions. A normal distribution is a probability distribution modeled by a bell-shaped curve that is symmetric about the mean. It has these properties, a mean of x bar and a standard deviation of sigma. The total area under the related normal curve is 1. About 68% of the area lies within one standard deviation of the mean, and you can see that by adding 34% on the left side of the mean and 34% on the right side of the mean. That sums to 68%. About 95% of the area lies within two standard deviations of the mean, so you'd add up 13.5%, 34%, 34%, and 13.5% to get that 95%. About 99.7% of the area lies within three standard deviations of the mean. So here you'd add 2.35%, 13.5%, 34%, 34%, 13.5%, and 2.35%. If you add all of the percents, they will sum to 1. The bell-shaped curve that models a normal distribution is called a normal curve. In example one, a normal distribution has mean x bar and standard deviation sigma. For a randomly selected x value from the distribution, find the probability that x is between the mean and the mean plus three standard deviations. So that areas, those areas we can shade in. We're talking about this region and this region, and the next region. Those are the regions that uh, x would be found between the mean and the mean plus three standard deviations. So all we have to do to get this probability then is to add up those percentages. Only we're talking about a probability, so we want our, our answer in decimal form. So we'll add up 0.34. 0.135 and 0 0.0235. So we'll find out that this probability is 0.4985. And again, probabilities are written in decimal form. In example two, the math scores of the 2004 SAT exam are normally distributed with a mean of 518 and a standard deviation of 114. About what percent of the test takers have scores between 518 and 746? Well, to determine this, we're going to have to label our, our areas. We know that the mean is given as 518, so that goes in the center, and then moving to the right, we'll add one standard deviation of 114 to that 518 and get 632. And then we'll add another standard deviation of 114 to 632 and get 746. And our last label on the right is three standard deviations from the mean, so we'll add 114 to 746 and get 860. And now moving to the left, we'll subtract that standard deviation of 114 from 518 and get 404. We'll subtract 114 from 404 to get 290. And our last label to the left, we'll subtract 114 from 290 and get 176. Okay, now let's answer the question about what percent of the test takers have scores between 518 and 746. Well, that would include these areas between 518 and 746. So all we have to do is add 34% and 13.5%. get a total percent of 47.5 percent.
question B, it says about what percent of the test takers have scores less than 404? Less than 404 now is going to include these areas. So in B, we'll be adding 13.5%, 2.35%, and that third area of 0.15%. So we'll get a total percentage here of 16%. The normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one is called the standard normal distribution. A z-score is the z-value for a particular x-value and is the number of standard deviations the x-value lies above or below the mean x-bar. Its formula is z equals x, take away the mean x-bar, divided by sigma, the standard deviation. In example three it says a survey of a group of women found that the height of the women is normally distributed with a mean height of 64.5 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Find the probability that a woman is at most 58 inches tall. Okay, so to determine that, we're going to find our, our Z score using our formula. So that Z score is going to equal our X value, which is 58, minus the mean that's given of 64.5 divided by the standard deviation, which is also given as 2.5. So if we run that through our calculator, we're going to get a z-score of negative 2.6. Okay, and now we use the z-score and the table to determine uh, the answer to our question, the probability that a woman is at most 58 inches tall. So I'm going to uh, look at negative 2.6. So I'm going to, here's negative 2 and here's 0.6. So if I follow that row and this column, I'm going to find my percentage, my percentage of 0.0047. for uh, the probability that a woman is at most 58 inches tall. Include with your notes of this video these practice problems. One, a normal distribution has mean x bar and standard deviation sigma. For a randomly selected x value from the distribution, find the probability that x is less than or equal to the mean minus one standard deviation. In, a, in problem two, in example two, what percent of test takers receive a score between 404 and 632? And then problem three, in example three, find the probability that a woman is at most 70 inches tall.